Welcome back. This is Mike Hillman Sr. at the NASCAR Hauler, and here comes the police. Moving up, obviously a little scuffle has taken place. Robin Pemberton, Gary Smith of NASCAR down there talking to Mike Hillman Sr. Obviously, they're going to be pulling him into the hauler and talking to them. We do have a winner here at Loud, New Hampshire. Let's go to Ray Dunlap. And here he comes out of the Camping Road Chevrolet, Ron Hornaday, a dominating fashion at St. Louis, and once again back with the exact same truck and the same results. Little adult beverage shower here for Ron Hornaday, and Ron, an interesting week for you, but you came right back and showed him this team is on top, and you guys are really putting it to him. Well, first of all, I thank the Lord and, uh, and all the fans. And, uh, Kevin Delana, Rick Wren, all these guys in the Camper World Chevrolet to believing in me, and uh, Chevrolet, uh, Mark Smith, Pro Motors, all, all these guys are just unbelievable. RVs.com. Uh, I don't say long week, but uh, I love everybody. This is awesome. Thank you. When you talk about the big picture here, Ron, you know, we, we've got to go down the stretch. There's a lot of races remaining, but you've got to be awful happy about the momentum that this team has put together and the equipment that you're bringing to the racetrack. Darn Johnny, he, he always saved us for the last 50 laps. Johnny uh, finished in second. Now, we led the most laps, but this still, I mean, if, when I was running sixth or seventh again, and he didn't put two tires on this week, he drove up to the front. So he's going to be a tough competitor. It's going to come down to Homestead. I've I got to really thank VFW and, and all our. Uh, BFW guys, members out there, I appreciate uh, what you guys do in uh, camping world. And uh, gosh, my wife, I tell you, she's uh, she's behind me 100%. And this guy right here, Rick Wren. But um, long week, and I got to thank everybody, everybody who supported me on this deal, and uh, all their racers. Thank you. Glad to see you back in Victory Lane. It's number 38 for Ron Hornaday, and he had a dominant truck today here at New Hampshire. He celebrates with Rick Wren. Ron nice. Hornaday's led in each of his five wins. He's led the most laps. Now, again, the incident that took place after the race, you see the two trucks and the two players that were involved in the actually off-the-track scuffle that took place. But David Starr was involved in three separate incidents on the racetrack. Let's take a look back at those individually. The 81 of Donnie Lee on the outside. This is the first one. The 81 gets loose on the inside. We see it happen so often. Donnie Leah pays the price. 11 was loose down under the 81. The 81 didn't do anything wrong. Neither did Rudiman. Just uh, stars loose on the inside of him. Then we see the same thing again with Todd Bodine. So uh, there's a three crashes that Star was uh, was involved with. Now David Star might argue that Todd didn't give him enough room. But uh, this is after the race. Now after the checkered flag. Todd Bodine runs in the back of David Starr to, to note his displeasure with what happened on the racetrack. And again, these two drivers, I mean, for the most part, were staying in their trucks. Their teams came down and were voicing their opinions. And that's where the teams got into very heated situation. There you see David Starr still with his helmet on, but the teams are all over David Starr, and that's where the fist started to fly. Well, the the, the star stopped, and one of... Uh, David one of Todd's crew guys was trying to get in his truck at him. Then yeah. when David got out, he didn't he didn't take fancy to that, yeah. obviously. Yeah, David got out on his own. Now they did cool down and we saw the two drivers come together. We saw Todd Bodine and David Starr come together. Those two talked a little bit more with cooler heads. We saw Mike Hillman Sr. get involved. He's in the blue shirt. All the NASCAR officials jumping in, trying to separate this got to know when those guys are there it's time to back off take a deep breath this is ugly because you've got the officials in the middle of this and right in and, the middle and you have to respect their presence Adam Alexander I believe you've caught up with one of the players in this battle a subdued Todd Bodine sits on the pit wall and you've just watched all the pictures we have from the events that unfolded late in this race first off you and David Starr did have a very civil conversation what was that like um, well, first of all, I want everybody to know that, that David Starr is a good person. He's a great guy. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. Uh, did he do it on purpose? No. I know he didn't. Uh, the problem is he had a really good truck, and, and David, when he has a good truck, has a tendency to drive just a little bit beyond the means of the truck. Um, you know, my crew was pretty upset, obviously. He didn't take one of their trucks out. He took them both out. He took my teammate out exactly the same way. And... You know, Loudon, you know, he, he said I cut him off. Well, you know what? I gave him the bottom groove. At Loudon, you got to be smart enough to know that the bottom groove, you're going to push. You can't drive it in as hard as you did the lap before. 
and I don't think David's learned that, that that's the way it is. And you know, he drove into both of us, drove in a left rear quarter panel and took us both out. And uh, it's a shame we didn't have a really good truck. The Lumber Liquidators Tundra was, we missed it. We missed the setup. We were going to finish seventh. And, you know, here we are with, with two wrecked race trucks, uh, probably dropped back again in points, all because of a, a, a really dumb error on a veteran driver, by a veteran driver. And and he didn't do it once in this race, he did it twice to the same team. So uh, we're pretty upset, but you know, it's it's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series racing at its best. Uh, still love the series, still like David. Uh, he's a good guy, you know, there's, there's nothing about David that's a bad person, he just doesn't know when to, to choke down on the reins and slow down a little bit. Tough break for Todd Bodine, guys. Yeah, there was a little choking down taking place on pit road. We want to take a look at our unofficial point standings in the Ford Belt Tough point standing. It is Ron Hornaday closing that gap. He gained 20 points again today. It's about five more than what he was supposed to gain. He was only supposed to gain 15. And if that mathematically, happens, mathematically, if that happens between now and the end of the year, you know who's going to win this championship. But realistically, will that happen? I don't think so. I think there's more wins left in Johnny Benson's camp. David Starr has been called to the hauler. He was over there. We see one of the officials with Toyota talking with him. I think David Starr's contention is Todd Bodine drove down across his hood. In this instance right here, I think that's his contention, but we'll, you know, we'll have to let them work it out in Las Vegas next week. We'll be there. I think Todd Bodine explained it as good as anybody could. He was civil and, and calm. Good description of exactly what went on on the track and why their team was so upset. Rod Hornaday had a lot of things that he had to battle with not only during the week, but on the racetrack. He dominated today. Hornaday winning for the third time at New Hampshire. We'll see if that momentum continues next week in Las Vegas.